Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Gemini 3 Pro Preview alongside Nano Banana Pro to make gorgeous, beautiful, insanely good UI UX in as short amount of time as possible. Let's just jump straight into it. So I've been working on a concept for the last few days and basically what it is is a directory for Irish heritage websites. And I'm trying to get a good UI UX, but every single time I do it, I get something that looks a little bit like this, which is okay, but not really perfect. However, I've been cooking something up with the new Gemini 3 Pro Preview and also Nano Banana Pro, which was released yesterday. So basically all you do is you come here and you say, give me a UI, oh wait, sorry, let's just go away from build here. Let's go to Nano Banana Pro, right? And then let's say, give me, well, we need to connect our API key first. So let's just do that now. Give me a UI UX for a an Irish heritage uh, site directory um, showing historical sites in Ireland, right? And then press run. Now, just before we continue with the video, guys, if you're interested in the school community, whether you want to just support me or whether you need a little bit more help with Vibe coding and other things like that, I'm putting all the information that I've been working on recently, including my latest stack, which is Convex, Claude Code, and Gemini 3 into the school community. There'll be a link in the description of the video. Definitely check it out, guys. People really, really do appreciate the school. Okay, so recently I have been having problems with Nano Banana in AI Studio. I'm really not sure what the hell is going on. Um, it looks like it might actually be able to do it. Wait. Okay, so yeah, I did actually make my own system um, just in case this doesn't work. I should just be able to go to uh, local host and I'll show you that in a second if this doesn't work. Okay, so we get something like this. This is not what I was expecting. This isn't what I was doing earlier, but I mean, this is still really, really good. I'm just going to quickly say, I mean, that is beautiful. That is pretty cool. You could sell this, honestly. If you had a Fiverr gig for creating UI UX for people, this you could sell for like anywhere from between $100 to $1,000. Let's just say I just want the desktop home page image and that's it. Also, I think we can do better, right? So we'll press run here again. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take this design here. This is Next.js. Um, you can watch the stream that I did earlier if you're curious how I built this. But basically, this was actually built with um, Codex, right, uh, and using a design theme. However, I've, I had a brainwave earlier, and I think I might know how to get perfect code from this kind of uh, UI UX design into something like a Next.js directory. Okay, and we're left with this, which I think we can all agree this is a phenomenally good design. You wouldn't get a better design if you went and paid a UA, UI UX designer, unless they were really, really good. No offense to UI UX designers. I'm sure you're incredible at your job, but I just doubt that many in the world, if you went on Fiverr especially, would give you a better UI UX than this right here. So what I'm gonna say from here is I'm gonna say, please give me the HTML, CSS, JavaScript for this homepage copying the exact styling, but using placeholder images instead of images from uh, another site or whatever. I need this to be in one complete copyable box that can be pasted straight into W3, uh, into a, an HTML embedder. You can also do React. I haven't tried this with React. If you wanted to, just um, give that a go as well, guys. Feel free to experiment alongside me. I'm not saying that I know everything. I never would say that I know absolutely everything. But this is the really cool thing about multi-modal AI, is it can do both the image and then the code, right? So that's super, super interesting to us. Now let's see if we can actually get something that looks a lot like what we actually have up here. And then just so you know, guys, we have this... Um, Claude code conversation, right? Which was basically just fixing a few things from Codex. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump that into, um, I'm gonna dump this code into the Claude code conversation. Again, you can watch the live stream I did earlier today if you're desperate to know how I built this website. I will also be talking about how I built this website at a future date as well in a future video, probably even later today, to be honest with you, because you know, things are moving so quickly now that I just, I can't really help myself, but keep making more and more 
content because holy crap things are getting insane by the way i wouldn't say this is a bad build at all like obviously it's not centered here and there's a few other problems but this still does look pretty damn good to be honest with you but what i really want is to have the exact same design that i have on in in the image from nano banana inside um my next js project right so let's run this here Okay, beautiful. This actually does look a lot like it. Obviously, it looks significantly different without the images, but if you just compare the two, um, it should look quite a lot like the original UI UX design, right? Let's just see. So browse by error. Yep. Interactive map. Mm -hmm. And then those three sections here, and then the footer as well. Still a couple of things missing, like the logo, etc., etc. What we could do here, if we really wanted to, is say, do this one more time, but where there's a small logo or something, uh, recreate with uh, a custom made SVG, right? And then run that. This might actually time out because I've been having problems uh, the last few hours with um, AI Studio with it timing out. But after we've done this, we should really start to see this coming together, right? But even so, just this alone, this is kind of what I'm I'm trying to get, right? There's a huge difference when you add images as well, of course. And obviously, this image that it used was breathtakingly beautiful. It's actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's um, it's the, what is it, the Wild Atlantic uh, West or whatever it's called in Ireland. So that's pretty amazing that it managed to get that level of detail on the UI UX design. And you can maybe see why i'm telling people that you could probably sell these to be frank for a decent amount of money now one more thing as well is we could also ask this to give us the individual site pages right i'm not going to do that just now let's run this okay so we have a svg again it's not perfect right there's a couple of things that would improve here but you can maybe see where i'm going with this so let's say okay this is good but i want the design to follow this exact HTML, CSS structure, um, replacing um, placeholder stuff with dynamic things from uh, the build that we have done already. And then I'm just going to paste the code like that. And we're going to put our hands in Claude code and see if Claude code can actually deliver. But even like just, just even this concept of just creating PNGs, right? This is huge for people. Whether or not we can get it to translate into code, that's more of a me problem or a you problem, right? Maybe we can, maybe we can't. But just to get this level of quality, I mean, this wasn't possible until yesterday, literally. And then not only that, we can do things like infographics and other things like that as well with Nano Banana that just weren't possible before. Okay, so as usual, Claude Code has just completely understood what I wanted. So I'll redesign the homepage to match this exact structure while keeping the dynamic data. Let me start by creating the new design. Perfect. Okay, and there we go. We have taken the code from Google AI Studio. Obviously, we've lost a little bit of oomph. I understand that. I do completely understand that. But you can see how you can maybe start to cook something that just looks a hell of a lot better than normal, right? Normally, these AI-generated directories look absolutely terrible. This one, looks a lot better, right? If we click on Ballandary Park, for example, we can scroll down, you can start to see, beautiful. Look at that, really, really nice. And then even if we go on categories, for example, archeological sites, all the SEO has been done. I will talk about how I built this directory. Uh, if people want me to leave a comment, um, it's also in the school community already. Um, there are some things missing, I do understand that. Um, it, I think there's just a tiny, tiny little bit missing from the original image. I get it. But yeah, it just looks a hell of a lot better than, you know, the normal UI UX. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school community. Thank you for always supporting me, guys. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.